Hello, this is Kit Jesse, and I'm bringing you another Killzone 3 audio commentary. Except this time, it's a retail commentary and not a beta commentary. Uh, the purpose behind this commentary is going to be a little discussion on the purpose behind the marksman class. Uh, but before we get to that, I'm just this is in the same game, but I'm just going to show off a little footage of a long kill streak I got off the the turret. I'm not sure what they're called. They're called like Sask or something. I, I can't remember exactly, but whatever. But this is a war zone match on one of the. I have no idea what this map is called, but it's one of one of the maps from the Killzone 2 Retro Pack that you got for pre-ordering the game. You can also buy from the PlayStation Store if you have a used copy. But uh, basically, the way this map is set up on each side of the. Uh, opposite sides of the map, there there are these turrets on either side, and they're both of the turrets are looking at the middle of the map where there's a, a kind of a meeting area where everybody fights. Uh, the turret I'm on is actually the stronger turret, and that's simply because it has a better angle and it can see more of the important area uh, in the middle there the turret on the opposite side from where I am is actually the weaker turret just because the angle is at, it's a terrible angle they really need to fix it and adjust it so that it's more balanced for each side uh, the, the problem is is that you can look to the right as much as you want but there's but the problem is the area to the right that you're looking at is completely useless and you never fire in that direction but you really want to look to the left but you're cut off to the left and you can't look that way because the angle's not in the right p position. So um, anyway, I don't know if anybody's figured that out, but the, that is an imbalance in the maps that kind of makes it unfair for the other side. As for the turrets themselves, um, I think they need to be adjusted a little bit. I think, uh, as you can see, it's pretty much an instant lock-on. All you have to do is hold down the L1 button, and it'll instantly lock onto an enemy, and then you can immediately fire. I think uh, if I were to adjust them a little bit, I would suggest making the lock-on take like, you know, half a second or a second or something like that. To make it a little more fair. But then again, you know, when someone's on a turret like this, they're not they're not actually out there on the objectives helping the team. Now, personally, I think I'm helping the team because I'm getting a lot of kills. And I'm killing a bunch of people that are going through a high traffic area, but... You know, another thing is that people on the turrets are easy targets to snipers and people with uh, the rocket launchers or missile launchers or whatever they're called, VC-9s. So, you know, I don't know. It's disadvantages and advantages to everything. But here we go to the sniper footage, or the marksman footage. And this is what I think the main purpose of the marksman class should be, if you're going to play the marksman class. And there's a dumb medic, by the way. He got up right when I was looking at him, so I just pulled out my secondary weapon and killed him. But here we go right here this uh, next few minutes of footage here. Uh, basically they've got a tactical spawn point in front of me here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sit over here and kill them as they come out of that spawn point and as they travel through this area. Now most people with marksmen they just kinda like focus on kill death ratio and getting a bunch of kills you know sitting in a far away corner of the map not doing much not helping the team but I think marksmen should do what I'm doing right here which is sniping a tactical spawn point and killing enemies as they come out now I'm doing a horrible job of shooting right here and I also shot a guy that was invulnerable as he spawned yeah, that's one thing you have to keep in mind when people spawn they're invulnerable for about a second so you have to wait before you take a shot but here you'll start seeing my kills pick up as I kill a bunch of people in this area. But this is what the purpose of the marksman should be. You need to harass the enemy and prevent them from getting to the objectives. 
You need to make them think about you more than the more than they think about the objectives. Don't be a KD whore. You need to actually help your team out and focus on the objectives. If you're going to be a KD whore, then do what what I'm doing here. Harass the enemy and prevent them from getting to the objective. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can either do what I'm doing right here, which is uh, hitting them right at the spawn or you can find a high traffic area where you know a ton of them are going to be at and you can kill them as they go through that area either way as long as you prevent them from getting to the objective that's the goal here you don't want to sit in a corner of the oh by the way that's nonsense right there I meleeed him first but whatever what can you do about lag anyway um you shouldn't be sitting off in a far away location where there's not a lot of traffic. You should, as a marksman, you should put yourself in a position to fire at people in a high traffic area. Don't be afraid to die. One thing I've uh, learned about this game, I actually started out as the marksman class, and that's kind of given me a hard time because I've had to readjust my playstyle. I'm more of an assault guy, and I thought it would be a good idea to use the marksman class with the second primary weapon unlock, which is an assault rifle. But it's actually it's actually very hard to do and and uh, make it work out because. Uh, the marksman's, I think it's the third radar ability or stealth ability or whatever it's called, but it makes the enemy's radar fuzzy, and that fuzziness gives your position away so badly. It's like uh, the Modern Warfare 2 scrambler perk where everybody knew where you were. It's the same thing with this one. When, they, when the enemies start seeing that fuzzy radar, they know you're coming. So if you have an assault rifle and you're right up in there in their faces, you're... Uh, it's just not too effective. I think there are definitely better assault rifle classes in this game. Marksman's definitely not a good assault rifle class. But he works out as a sniper, of course, combined with the se secondary weapons. But I'll talk about the marksman later. Anyway, there's a score of 3210. Thanks!